Great. I'm going to use this a little bit. All right. So using this orange. Now, when you supreme, you don't have to zest. I just don't want to waste the zest since we're going to supreme these oranges. Supreme means that we want the flesh only. We don't want the skin. We don't want the pith. We don't want the membrane, which would be a segment. So when you peel an orange and you eat it, you're eating a flesh surrounded by membrane. So that's a segment of orange that you're eating. We want the kind that you get in the little, the little can called mandarin oranges. Okay? You're going to learn how to be able to do that yourself. You'll never buy another can of mandarin oranges. Okay? So you're going to cut off the end. Make sure that you have the flesh exposed on both sides. Then you're going to cut the skin off and the, and the pith off of the side of, of the orange. Make sure that you go deep enough that you expose the flesh and you don't leave the pith attached. But if you go too deep, again, you're taking away from your edible portion, so you're going to end up losing a lot of flesh, bless you. So this is a globular, okay, it's a round piece of fruit. So should my knife just go straight down? No. No, it should curve around. So as I'm coming around, I go out and then I come back in towards the bottom. So that is a real hard maneuver for people to get. They just want to whack it off, okay? You want to come around like that. So I come around. I made my first cut. Can everybody see that? Okay. My second cut, I'm going to lay my knife slightly over extending where I ended. Okay? So I'm going to cut here, not there. Okay? Overlapping, if you will. Now, if it helps, you can lift the fruit up a little bit so you can see what's going on. You should be watching your blade. If I see a lot of this, I know someone's not really paying attention. You really should be cocking your head to the side and getting in there to see what you're doing. I can see my blade going in between the pith and the flesh. So I'm just watching the placement of that blade. If for some reason I'm getting too deep, I readjust my blade outwardly. If I'm not getting enough, I should be able to readjust it going inward. So all you should see are these fine little stripes, okay, in between. Now we're going to actually supreme the orange. We're going to take, those are your membrane lines. You want to stay to the right or the left of, of every membrane line. Whether you start on the right or the left, doesn't matter to me. You'll get it done one way or another. So I'm going to start just to the right of this. I'm going to take out this one right here. This is the one I'm going for right here. There, you see that? So I'm going to go to the right of that membrane line, and again, how is this? This is a God made, not man made, right? So do I just go straight in? No, it's a wedge. Okay? So I have to follow the membrane line, look at it, watch it. I don't just go straight in, because if I go straight in, the membrane is going like this. So if I go straight in, eventually I'm going to cut through the membrane and it's still going to be attached. I want to follow the membrane. Okay? So follow the line of the membrane. If you need to, again, you can hold it this way to and start from the top and follow it towards the center and then work your way like this, okay? Now that I have it separated from this membrane, I go to the left side of the opposing membrane on the other side, okay? And as soon as you do that, cut all the way to center. It comes right out, okay? And this is what you want. <clears throat> This is a supreme orange, okay? There's no skin, there's no membrane, there's no nothing, okay? <laughs> now I have this big opening. I'm gonna put the knife just to the right of the next membrane. Once you get one out, it's really easy. I flip that over, put that little flap there. Always make sure you're cutting all the way to center. If you're cutting to center, you're not gonna cut your hand, okay? And then I go just to the side of that one, flip that one out. And I just keep going. I have a tickle on my throat. <coughs>